I've been working with the Spirit and Opportunity rovers, which were very successful, the Curiosity rover, which is still going on Mars. Mars 2020 rover is going to a place called Jezero Crater where there's this beautiful fan delta that is uh, built into the crater. There was a river that was flowing down the crater walls, moving sediments down like the Mississippi River, dumping them into the Gulf of Mexico. And then Jezero was a shallow lake, a gentle environment, beautiful delta. And on Earth, those places preserve organic molecules, fossils, evidence of, of past existence of, of life upstream. Nobody knows, but we know that the conditions were habitable at one point in the past, or many points in the past, the deep past, on the surface. Here's this place right in our backyard, essentially, where uh, it's the most Earth-like planet in the solar system besides the Earth itself, where there used to be rivers and seas and lakes on the surface, where the climate changed dramatically, where there still could be groundwater at depth, At some level, everything we do to explore uh, the planets and moons and comets and asteroids and stars and galaxies around us is, is done to try to learn something about ourselves, either about life on this planet or about just this planet in general. How did it get to be this way? What does it take to be a habitable world? How can we find others? Um, and how can we preserve this one uh, to the best of our capabilities. 